All right, I'm back after breaking my fast. I went a total of 39 hours. I was going to do 38 in commemoration of Diana Corazon, the winner of Arabic Idol season season one. Uh, she also competed on World Idol, and um, she was a big inspiration for me to open my eyes to other cultures. And I, when I was a kid, I wanted to meet somebody just like Kelly Clarkson in my life. But then I watched World Idol. And I, I didn't feel like I was taking a compromise anymore anytime I dated somebody from a different culture or a different background. So I went on a fast. It was I did a total of 39 hours. I was shooting for 38 uh, because uh, for her birthday, but um, I couldn't decide what to break the fast with at the end, so it got stretched a little bit more. I ended up going to my favorite restaurant in the Redmond area. I discovered them during the pandemic, actually. Very nice people there. Um, I, and um, what was really interesting this time was how intense that meal was. It, it, after I ate it, it felt like I had drank alcohol. It was a very intense feeling, and I like it. Uh, that's one of the benefits of going on an intermittent fasting. Unfortunately, I got heavy-hearted after I ate again. After I ate again, I started to feel heavy-hearted about life in general, you know, workplace stresses, having to, to deal with... I, I have a meeting tomorrow and I started stressing over that. I, I started stressing about my uh, new apartment that I'm moving to next week. I started stressing about relationship issues. I have some difficulty with my relationship with my family and I started stressing about that again. See, when I, when I was fasting, none of that seemed to, uh, seem to bother me. It's just, it's just weird. I gotta figure this out. Um, although I, I, I do hope to one day go on a fasting grand finale. Uh, go watch my previous videos to hear all about what that's about. But whether or not I actually go on a grand finale, every one, la every every fast I do puts me one fast closer to the day when the, the, my my dilemma about eating will be resolved. Right, eating gives me a heavy-hearted feeling. Unfortunately, there's a limit to how long I cannot eat. It's a big dilemma, right? And every time I fast, I like to think of check mark, right? One. One fast closer to, to the day we solve the, that problem. It, it's, it's a great medical mystery, almost, it seems like. But we're, we're getting closer, and it, it's, I get optimistic about that. Now, what was really interesting is that, because I keep thinking I might do a fasting grand finale, it's made me live life a lot more fuller, right? I had a situation at work where I wanted to uh, negotiate a few things, especially the scheduling. I wanted to negotiate a bunch of things that I, I could do remotely without having to go to the office. I also wanted to uh, talk to this girl, and uh, I, I, I just did it, right? In the past, I would have had a lot of reservations about all of this, right? What else have I done uh, recently? I had, um, I, oh, the, the new apartment that I'm moving to. I wanted to negotiate a few things. Uh, I wanted to negotiate the deposit especially because I think hyperinflation is here. Right? That deposit might as well just be paid and, and it will probably never be returned. Right? So I wanted to negotiate that and I, I, I wanted to point out that I've been in other apartments without problems and I showed her uh, the videos of other apartments where I've recorded videos in to, to show that you know it's, there's nothing untidy or anything like that. And so um, I was uh, very open and, and, and talking to her. And I even told her about fasting grand finale. See, I'm very open now, right? And she didn't object to that, actually. She, she, she said that if fasting makes me feel good, we, we all deserve to feel good, right? So that's good, right? She's a little bit old school, though. Younger people have a hard time of accepting the fasting grand finale, right? They think life is the most important thing in the world, right? Um, but very happy-go-lucky. And unfortunately, once I eat, I, I get heavy-hearted, right? My, the, the thought that my, my, my days on Earth might be ending has just given me a lot of um, just, 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 just um, uh, courage to do things that were normally, uh, normally difficult, right? Thanks for watching.